principals and teachers, welcome to 2011. I'm excited to announce some professional development opportunities that we will be offering uh, during the second part of the school year here. And so let's dive in and look at those opportunities and how teachers can register for them. The following four courses will be offered. Using your computer to enhance classroom instruction, and that's a Mac-based class. Using Web 2.0 to expand your classroom and curriculum. Using technology tools and applications to enhance the curriculum and engage students. And finally, enhancing assessment opportunities in the classroom using technology. This course will be offered on Tuesdays beginning next Tuesday, January 11th. The class will run from 4.15 to 6.15 every Tuesday evening. This course will be taught on Wednesdays beginning in January 12th. Again, running from 4.15 to 6.15 on Wednesday evenings. This course will be taught on Thursday evenings beginning next Thursday, January 13th. Again, it will run from 4.15 to 6.15. This final course will also be taught on Thursdays. However, it will not be an ongoing class like the other classes. It will be a fi limited five-week class. It will begin on Thursday, January 27th and run from 4 to 7 p.m. So here you can see the schedule for all four classes. Please note that all classes will be held at the PDC. The PDC is located at 9361 South, 300 East. It is the portable structure behind the CSSC. I'd like to take just a minute at this point and explain kind of how our PD classes are going to run, with the exception of the, the assessment class. The assessment class will be run basically as you may have been used to in Jordan District. It will be a five-week class meeting for three hours each, each week. With the other three classes, what we've tried to do is set up a little more flexible type of schedule and type of arrangement. These classes or these courses will be taught in two-hour blocks. Okay. Um, to receive credit, you must attend seven of those uh, two-hour blocks, but you can jump in and out of that course at any time. So if there's a particular course that you have interest in, you can, uh, but you only have uh, certain items in that course you're interested in, you can just attend those classes. Credit will be issued once you have attended seven of those courses and that particular section then ends. Okay. So again, uh, we've tried to build this to be a little more flexible. Um, I'll provide a URL where you can find uh, details on those classes uh, so that you can see what will be taught on any given week. One thing I do need to make clear, the, any classes you take need to be in the same course to receive credit. So you must take um, all seven or more classes in the uh, Using Your Computer to Enhance Classroom Instruction course, for example. So let's talk about registration for these classes. First, there are no fees for these classes. You will register through COLA. There is a registration limit of 30 per course. But if for some reason you can't get registered, please come to the first class of the course you want to attend and we will help you get registered. As I mentioned, you will register for these classes through COLA. The easiest way to get there is to go to the Canyons District homepage, come here to the Employee section, and down to Cola. This will open up a new window. 
you can log in using your COLA uh, ID or uh, basically the same login that you use for your email. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Your account will be just a little bit different, but here from this home page, you can go here to uh, the Learning Assistant. This will take you to the course search. You can search by terms, for example, you could type in the term technology and do a search. You'll see only a couple of the classes come up because only a couple of them have the word technology in the name. Another way that you can find the classes is by going here to the learning opportunity type and selecting instructor led course and then again do a search. And it'll give you a few other courses as well, but here you see the assessment class and then down at the bottom the other three classes. Once you are here, you can go ahead and view the sections. So if I wanted to view the technology tools and applications to enhance the curriculum and engage students course, I can look and view sections. You see here the section title, and there's just section one, two, and three. The start date for each section, tell you how many are registered. Uh, you can click on the info for any particular section, and that will give you a little more information. It will also then at that point give you a register button. Click on that register button and it will just walk you through registering for the course. I'm not going to register for this course, but that's um, how simple it is. And then again, uh, on the correct date and time, you can just show up for uh, the class out at the PDC. And uh, we will have a great time learning together. Now just a couple other things. These courses have all been approved for USOE credit and district lane change credit. If you don't need credit, uh, you will also receive or will receive instead relicensure points. The instructors for the course will be the Canyons District Educational Technology Specialists. And so uh, we're looking forward to teaching these classes and looking forward to seeing you there. For more information about these professional development opportunities, you can contact your school's educational technology specialist, or you can feel free to contact me, Kelly Dumont, at 801-826-5366, or through email at kellydumont at canyonsdistrict.org.